Hi everyone. So today we will be discussing regarding the arterial supply of the heart. So first of all we will be drawing the arteries of the heart and next I will be labeling the diagrams and after that we will be going with the little clinical correlates. So coming to the heart we will discuss the general basic anatomy. This is the apex of the heart. This is the base of the heart. Right? This is the base of the heart and this is the apex of the heart. This is superior vena cava and this is inferior vena cava. And this is called the arch of iota, right? You know, arch of iota contains three branches. So this is the base of the arch of iota. At this point, from the base of the arch of iota, there is an origin of one of the artery of the heart. It is called as right coronary artery. The right coronary artery, the question is that from where this right coronary artery arises? The right coronary artery originates from the base of the arch of iota. This is the arch of iota and this is the base. So from this baser part of the arch of iota, the right coronary artery originates. This right coronary artery and one important thing is that this is the anterior surface of the heart. So the arteries which I am drawing in the anterior surface of the heart, I will be drawing it in a linear fashion. But the arteries which pass behind or the posterior surface of the heart, I will be drawing in the dotted fashion. So this artery, the right coronary artery passes downwards obliquely in this manner towards the right and loops to the posterior side of the heart and passes posteriorly and it waits for an anastomose. So this entire artery is called as the right coronary artery. There are also some branches that are coming from this right coronary artery we will be discussing now. From this right coronary artery there is one branch that is uh, descending down in this fashion. passes behind the inferior vena cava and comes out like this, right? So this artery is called as marginal artery. As, a, as this is the right part of the heart, so this artery is named as right marginal artery, right? And this marginal artery supplies to the heart. So, from the base of arch of iota, there is an origin of an artery of the heart called as right coronary artery. Right coronary artery on the anterior surface of the heart, it passes obliquely downwards, curves back and passes posteriorly forwards and waits for an anastomose. In the meanwhile, from this right coronary artery, there is one more artery that is descending down, a branch of this right coronary artery. This is called as the right marginal artery. So now we will go with the right coronary artery which is present on the posterior side. The right coronary artery which is present on the posterior side, from here there is one more branch that is coming down posteriorly and even this also waits for an anastomose. Right? These are the branches of the right coronary artery. So a quick review, this is the right coronary artery passing from the anterior surface of the heart and loops backwards and passes posteriorly and waits for an anastomosis. In the meanwhile, from this right coronary artery, there is one more artery that is emerging down and it is passing along the interventricular septum. So we name this artery as interventricular artery, right? As this artery is passing posteriorly, we also name it as posterior interventricular artery, right? And it passes downwards and waits for an anastomosis. In this meanwhile, from the right coronary artery, directly one artery passes downwards in this fashion. This is called as the right marginal artery, right? Now we will deal with the left coronary artery. The same as right coronary artery, the left coronary artery also comes or originates from the base of the arch of iota, right? The left coronary artery passes obliquely left towards left from on the anterior surface of the heart. It passes toward, it passes on the anterior surface of the heart for a quiet distance and next at this point on the left side, it divides into two arteries. One artery comes downward and another artery passes obliquely. Same as the right coronary artery, this artery also passes obliquely and curves towards the posterior surface of the heart and passes posteriorly.
and anastomosis with this artery the right coronary artery right so this is the right left coronary artery at this point dividing into two arteries this artery is called as the circumflex artery the circumflex artery for a quite distance it passes on the anterior surface of the heart and then it turns back towards the posterior part of the heart and passes posteriorly and anastomosis with the right coronary artery right i said that this is called as circumflex artery so there is one more artery that is coming downwards like this passes downward towards the apex of the heart and turns back and passes upward along the posterior surface of the heart whatever dotted line say represent it means that the artery is passing towards the posterior surface of the heart and anastomosis with this posterior interventricular artery right so this artery as i said posterior why the name posterior interventricular artery because this artery is passing posteriorly that is one point why interventricular artery it passes all along the interventricular septum this is the right atrium this is the left atrium this is the right ventricle and this is the left ventricle and the septum between the two ventricles is called interventricular septum so this artery slightly passes along the interventricular septum so this artery is named as interventricular artery as it is passing posteriorly we call i also call it as posterior interventricular artery so you you can also guess the name of this artery that is coming directly downwards it is also passing along the interventricular septum and curving back and anastomosing with this posterior interventricular artery so this is called as anterior interventricular artery why anterior because it is passing on the anterior surface of the heart right so in the heart there are mainly two anastomoses this one and this the other anastomos so still the arteries are not finished from this circumflex artery one small branch of artery arises and comes downward like this and it gives supplies to this margin of the heart so you might be knowing the name of this artery it is the left marginal artery as this is the right marginal artery so this must be the left marginal artery as this is the posterior interventricular artery passing posteriorly this will be the anterior interventricular part artery that is passing anteriorly right so finally as we see here there are mainly two anastomoses which you can find this is one anastomos and this is the second anastomos so this is the arterial supply for the heart right so we'll have a quick review on this this is the right coronary artery passing obliquely downwards and next it passes posterior surface of the heart waits for an anastomos and this is the left coronary artery coming like this dividing into two branches one branch is called as the circumflex artery and this branch is called as the anterior interventricular artery circumflex artery loops backwards passes posteriorly and anastomosis with this right coronary artery and from the right coronary artery directly coming downward is right marginal artery and from the circumflex artery directly coming downwards is left marginal artery right and this is posterior interventricular artery as you know so this is the arterial supply of the heart one important thing we need to discuss is that people say that heart is right dominant for some patients and heart is left dominant for some patients in most of the population heart is right dominant but very less population heart is left dominant what is meant by dominance for suppose this artery posterior interventricular artery so okay before before explaining that i'll be drawing the names i'll be labeling the names first of all this artery is called right coronary artery right we will compare and will label the names this artery is called left coronary artery from this right coronary artery the artery that is passing downward is right marginal artery or we also say it is a branch of right coronary artery so we can also say right marginal branch and this one that is passing directly from the circumflex is left marginal branch or artery so left coronary artery divides into two arteries this artery is called this 
circumflex artery and one more artery which is a division of the left coronary artery this is passing anteriorly along the interventricular septum so this must be named as anterior interventricular artery and this artery you know posterior interventricular artery right that's it so we'll be dealing with the dominance as i said before some patients most of the population heart is said to be right dominance and in very less population heart is said to be left dominance what is exactly mean by dominance this is the posterior interventricular artery this posterior interventricular artery is a branch of right coronary artery if posterior inter interventricular artery comes from if, if it is a branch of right coronary artery for some people then we call them as right dominance for suppose if the remaining population in the remaining population what exactly happens is this posterior interventricular artery arises from this left coronary artery here it is arising from right coronary artery so this heart must be right dominance if it arises from the left coronary artery then we say it as heart is said to be left dominance so the dominance of the heart is mainly depended upon the posterior interventricular artery from where it is originating here it is originating from the right coronary artery so we call it as right dominance but in some population it may originate from the left coronary artery then we call it as left dominance and one more thing after dominance i need to discuss is nodal artery as you know right atrium on the right upper corner of the atrium i will draw a very simplified diagram so these are the two atria these are two ventricle on the right upper corner right upper corner of the right atrium here you find a node called as sa node so even sa node must be supplied by some artery the name itself represent sa nodal artery or simply nodal artery so from where this nodal artery arises these are the major arteries sa nodal artery is a very minute artery this nodal artery arises from this right coronary artery right so this is nodal artery nodal artery it supplies to sa node and in this nodal artery also if we see in a population most of the population uh, i mean 70% of the population this sa nodal artery arises from the right coronary artery but in 30% of the population this sa nodal artery is present here it arises from the left coronary artery so this is the dominance and about the nodal artery and one more thing i like to mention is about cabg c a b g we also call it as cabbage c stands for coronary a stands for artery b stands for bypass g stands for grafting coronary artery bypass grafting what is exactly meant by coronary artery bypass grafting so coronary artery bypass grafting for suppose either the right coronary artery or the left coronary artery if there is a formation of any plague inside that artery what is exactly meant by plague for suppose i am taking a piece of artery any one so this is the artery which is hollow inside this artery inside as you know the blood passes in this manner right in some cases what exactly happens is that from the periphery to the center there is deposition of some waxy material in this way from the periphery to the center slowly layer by layer layer by layer there is deposition of waxy material so this is the artery opening so from the periphery from the periphery there is one layer of formation of wax and below that there is one more layer and below that there is one more layer and next all these layers finally making the artery narrow right 
finally the artery has become narrow so in this narrowed artery the blood supply to the heart will be very low when the blood supply to the heart will be very low the oxygen that is carrying in the right coronary artery or the left coronary artery to the surface to the heart will also be very low for suppose when you take a pipe and press the pipe when the pipe becomes narrow the water coming out will be very less in the same way due to the formation of this waxy material finally there is very narrow space that is available through which blood can pass so very minute amount of blood passes when this low volume of blood passes low volume of oxygen passes and this low volume of oxygen is supplied to the heart so when there is oxygen insufficiency to this heart finally there is a condition called chest pain which we also call it as angina so doctors found what might this waxy substance they named this waxy substance as plague so we can also say that if there is formation of plague in the artery in centripetal manner not centrifugal from periphery to center this plague is formed layer by layer right in the centripetal manner if there is a formation of waxy substance called as plague then there is low oxygen supply to the heart when there is low oxygen supply to the heart finally it leads to angina so doctors what they do is for suppose this is the point where angina or sorry this is the point where the plague is present now the blood cannot pass in this manner so what doctors do is they take some additional arteries or veins from our leg from our hand from our, from the mammary gland for suppose from the mammary gland they take the mammillary artery from the hand very less often they take radial artery the radial artery generally they don't take but in some cases very less oftenly they take radial artery but mostly they take the saphenous vein the greater saphenous vein which is present on the leg so you need to remember three things one is the mammillary artery and next the greater saphenous vein and third is the radial artery so generally doctors cut these arteries or veins one part of the vein they fix here and next other part they fix here so blood that is coming like this enters into this vein or artery bypasses this leg and it continues its own way so this is called as bypass why why i said it is as grafting c a b g right why i said it is as grafting because they are taking part of vein from the leg part of artery from the mammary gland part of artery from the hand right and that's that is why we call it as grafting why we say it as bypass because they are bypassing this plague this is the plague and they are bypassing this plague right so now there will be no uh angina to the heart and the heart works normally so this is the atrial system of the heart so i have explained you all the arteries major arteries and even i explained you the dominance of the heart and also the nodal artery dominance and the formation of plague and the uh, clinical procedure which we do for this plague is coronary artery bypass graft so next video will be in comparative with this arterial system i'll be drawing another heart here representing the venous drainage of the heart right thank you